So what I've drawn right here is a insulin receptor and the components of an insulin receptor are two beta subunits that are going to go transmembrane and then there are two alpha subunits that remain on the extracellular surface. And the state that is drawn on the left here is the uh, inactive form. And what happens is a ligand will come in and when the ligand comes in it causes a conformational change and allows the insulin receptor to become in the active state. And I should also say that the insulin receptor is uh, comprised of a set of the beta subunits as well as the alpha subunits. And is this conformational change remaining in the alpha subunit that causes the insulin receptor to become active. And is this alpha beta heterodimer that is formed by disulfide links leading to this kind of relationship that we see. So this is an example of a receptor tyrosine kinase and it's going to re regulate many cellular processes such as glucose and, and energy metabolism. So once we have the conformational change, the intrinsic uh, tyrosine kinase is now active and we're going to have the ability to autophosphorylate. And so autophosphorylation, which is drawn right here, it's going to end up autophosphorylating IRS. And just remember, IRS in this case is not the internal re revenue service. Instead, it's insulin receptor substrate. So the phosphor phosphoryl group will leave the beta subunit and phosphorylate the insulin receptor substrate, which will then dock onto or cause P, uh, PI3K to dock on to IRS, which this then forms PIP3. And PIP3 is active, uh, activated f for P13K signaling, which this is ultimately going to control glycogen metabolism. And so, as you probably guess, if we're metabolizing glycogen, we want to produce or have more sugar in the body. And as we saw in the RTK uh, video, this PIP3 is basically converting PIP2 into PIP3, and this is leading to glycogen metabolism. Um, if you've kind of forgotten some of the things in the RTK video, Please watch it again, and also be sure to watch the um, the uh, G protein coupled receptor video. They they will do a good job of explaining things. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the caption below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel.